My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 1, that extends from February 25th till February 29th. We're going to start this uh, week with a unit introduction. You're going to recognize the key concept, related concept, and global context of the unit. You're going to formulate the SOI. You're going to recognize the criteria of the unit. Uh, the word wall includes criterion, key concept, related concepts, global context, SOI, and generate. You're going to watch a video about formulating a strong statement of inquiry. You're going to uh, formulate your statement of inquiry after providing you with the key concept, related concept, and a global context of the unit. You're going to watch a video about INS tasks in the MYP, and you're going to research about criterions A, B, C, and D in, your, uh, in the INS further practice, and for the challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation? You need to write four points. You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, culture is a pattern of behavior shared by a society or a group of people. Many different things make up a society's culture. These things include food, language, clothing, tools, music, arts, costumes, and beliefs, and religion. You need to gather pictures of traditional clothing around the world. I can't wait to start this unit with you guys. Um, let's go now to lesson two. In lesson two, you're going to recognize culture and recognize the culture iceberg. Our word wall is going to include culture, culture iceberg, analogy, visible, uh, invisible, and anthropology. What is culture and why does it matter? We're going to watch a video about that and you will have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch a video about the culture iceberg and you will have an interactive activity related to the culture iceberg. Further practice and for the challenging question, in what ways does globalization both enrich and potentially uh, homogenize cultural diversity? A self-assessment, and for what we do tomorrow, I would like you to complete the following table in your notebook. In the, this table, you're going to check if the cultural feature is visible or invisible and explain uh, why. For lesson three, you're going to recognize ways culture is expressed. Um, our word wall is going to include culture, culture iceberg, multiculturalism, subculture, intangible culture, heritage, and material culture. You're going to watch a video about what is culture and how is it expressed. Then you are going to have an interactive activity where you're going to search for different cultural holidays and celebrations and make a poster about it. Uh, group A are going to search about uh, holidays and celebrations in India. Group B are going to research about China. Group C are going to research about Native Americans. Group D are going to research about Mexico. Group B are going to research about Kuwait. You're going to watch a video about how can culture be expressed through art and have an interactive activity related to that. You will have further practice. And for the challenging question, in what ways does contemporary art reflect and challenge cultural norms and values? And how do artists navigate the fine line between cultural um, authenticity and innovation in their expressions? You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I'd like you to search for the Persian carpets in Iran and write down what they resemble. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. Peace out.